Salesforce evolution from Aura to Lightning Web Components brings modern web standards and unmatched performance to your web application. Welcome everyone. In today's session, we are going to talk about Aura versus LWC. So without wasting any time further, let's proceed with the video. Introduction to Salesforce UI Frameworks. Now, if I talk about Salesforce UI Frameworks, it started with Visual Force, which is pure HTML, CSS and JavaScript with some custom tags that was created specifically for Salesforce environment and was used in Visual Force. This kind of UI was basically used in Salesforce Classic. As soon as we moved on to Salesforce Lightning, Aura came into the picture. Aura components were quite fast and definitely more modern comparing to the Visual Force components. If I simply show that on the screen, you will realize the difference between Visual Force and Aura components. But later on, we soon realized that Aura components were a bit slower because of the huge and heavy components and coding running behind it. Lightning Web Component made it faster, modern and plenty of other advantages which Aura can't give us in today's modern web standards. But to understand that, let's first see what is Aura. Now, Aura is a UI framework used for developing dynamic web apps for mobile and desktop devices on the Salesforce platform. If I talk about the features of it, it is component-based architecture. We basically worked on individual components, focus on one component at a time. And because of that, maintaining them was quite easier. It worked on event-driven programming. Now, you might be considering what are events? Events are nothing but any action taken by the user on the interface. Now, if you are clicking on a button, if you are typing something on a text box, if you are moving from one text box to another text box, all these are events. And with Aura, we actually worked on event-driven programming. As soon as any specific event occurs, we actually write down some sort of action that should be taken place for that specific event. But there was one thing that was making it slower. It has server side rendering and because of that, it has heavy compilation, which actually makes it slower. Now, before I proceed ahead, let me quickly show you how a Visual Force page looks and how an Aura component looks on our Salesforce environment. So guys, right now we are on our org. Let me go to accounts and let me go to any specific account. Now, whatsoever you are watching right now is actually made because of Aura or LWC. Now, Visual Force pages were giving you similar kind of result, but the UI was completely different. To see that, what you can do is click on the profile icon on the top right and right click on switch to Salesforce Classic and click on open a new tab. So on this new tab, whatsoever we are watching right now is the classic interface. And similar to the accounts that we have seen over there in the lightning environment, let's check it out in class. So to make it happen, I will go on the top right and click on sales. Now click on accounts and from here you can click on any specific account. My recently viewed account was Amit Academy, so let me click on that. And whatsoever you are watching right now was basically created with Visual Force. Definitely the interface that we see right now on Lightning is much more appealing and much more modern. So that's the basic difference which we achieve coming from the Visual Force to the Lightning interface. But let's talk about Aura more. So for that, let's quickly move on to the slide. So we have already talked about the features of Aura. Let's talk about LWC more. Now, what is Lightning Web Components? Now, LWC is a modern JavaScript framework developed by Salesforce. And because of that, it can only be used on Salesforce. This was basically created to create reusable components within the Salesforce platform. The main features of LWC was it uses modern web standards. So it was basically based on ECMAScript 6 and Shadow Do. Now we will discuss about these concepts and the basic prerequisites of JavaScript which is needed for you to move ahead in LWC but definitely not now. Now LWC was client-side rendering. Now 
imagine this is client side and this is server side client side is the place where client is actually making the request languages like html css and javascript runs on this side and all these languages run on the web browser itself so whatsoever you do you get the response immediately because everything is running on the browser itself but server side scripting languages like php jsp asp or even aura they actually compile and get executed on the server so whenever a client is making a request the request goes to the server the server compiles it according to the request itself converts everything to the client side languages like html css and javascript and then returns back the request from the server to the client and then only the client is going to see the output because of this any language which is running on the server side behaves a bit slower now lwc is a client side rendering language and hence it gives a faster performance and one more advantageous part of it is it was built on the web component standard and because of that you need not to learn new jargon words or new proprietary codes and hence building new web applications or building new single page application over here is much faster now what are the key differences between aura and lwc first is performance aura relies more on server side logic which slows down the performance and lwc leverages client side rendering hence resulting in faster load times if i talk about complexity aura is more complex because of the steeper learning curve but if i talk about lwc it is simpler and easier to learn for developers which are familiar with javascript now if you are wondering that i don't know that much of javascript don't worry at all the prerequisite of javascript is mentioned in our course itself and we are going to talk about them if you are very new to javascript click on the i icon and you can go through our course which is crash course on html css and javascript have a little bit of patience we are right now in css and soon we will land in the javascript and you will learn everything that is required now if i talk about development experience aura requires more boilerplate coding so there are plenty of code that is written in aura just to compile that specific stuff on the server and to give the response on the client whereas lwc is streamlined with less code and better coding support if i talk about web standard aura uses proprietary model so there is a specific model defined by salesforce itself and you have to follow that if you want to create aura components but lwc is based on modern web standards so hence it is basically using the same modern web standards which is basically used anywhere else whenever you are building a web application hence it is more future proof now before we proceed ahead let's see a quick comparison how an aura component is built and how it looks and how an lwc component is built and how it looks now before i proceed ahead don't worry about what are the steps that i am taking right now because all these steps i will explain you in the future videos from the very basics so let's go to the org now so guys here we are on our developer console and you can use your developer console to build your aura components but at the same time i want to alarm you that this cannot be used for our lwc so i will show you the vs code where i have already built an lwc just to compare the codes between them now if i want to create an aura component i will go to file new click on lightning components and here i will provide a name to it for example sample aura now below i can select where i want to use this aura component suppose i want to use only as a lightning page or on the racket page or suppose i want to use a lightning tab if i want to use in the quick action i can certainly use that as well or if i want to use it in the experience cloud websites i can click on that as well. right now i am clicking all of them and clicking on submit now because of my selection over there you can see an attribute to the aura component tag with all the values over here like it is saying that it is app hostable it is available for all page types available for record home has record id available for all page types again for the force community that is for the experience cloud and available for lightning quick action and the access level is also given as global now inside this aura component parent tag i can include all the rest of the tags that i want you can say this specific page is nothing but the html part of it 
Now on the right side of it, you can see different types of small components that will be part of this whole Aura component itself. Let me click on the controller. Now the controller and the helper is nothing but the JavaScript. But you see, the way we define the JavaScript over here, the file name is ending with the .js extension but the way we write down the code in it is defined by Salesforce itself and we have to follow this. Like you can see, I am defining my action function and there are three parameters component, event and helper passed to it and I have to pass them whenever I want to create any kind of controller. Similarly, if I am on the helper, I can create any function and the parameters over there can be defined by myself. But the way of defining them is already defined in Aura. Other than that, if I click on style, that would be nothing but the CSS. But the way I am defining it is actually declared by the Aura framework itself. Similarly, we have documentation, renderer, design and SVG. And this whole creates an Aura component bundle. Now, because this course is not on Aura, I am not going to go in depth of it. But this might have give you a clear reference that how Aura component have their own standard and boilerplate coding which is required. Let me take you to the LWC now. So right now I am on my Visual Studio code. Now this specific project contains plenty of components. It can have Apex classes, Aura, LWC and much more. But I will focus on LWC right now. Among all the LWC, I am showing one of them. Right now, if you see, there are different L Lightning Web Components over here or LWCs over here. I am clicking on one of them, which is Proper Lookup. Now, this Proper Lookup itself has three different files inside the bundle. One of them is HTML. So here you can see we are using tags over here just to define the user interfaces. Now inside this tag, there are plenty of tags which are nothing but predefined Lightning Web Components. I can create my own itself by using some of the standard ones or I can completely create a new one by using the STM. The second type of file over here is the JS, which is exactly following the same standard which is used in the normal JavaScript. And finally, I just have an XML to define whether I am exposing this specific Lightning Web Component to my Salesforce org or not. The main difference over here is in Aura, you have plenty of boilerplate codes which are basically defined for Aura itself. Whereas Lightning Web Components use the same standard which is used in any modern web programming language. So let's talk some more thing about it and move to the slide itself. Migration from Aura to LWC. Now people who have already created Aura components, they might be thinking about migrating to LWC. Now why they want to migrate? There are plenty of valid reasons. Better performance and faster loading time, future proofing and easier maintenance and development. But the question is how to migrate? So there can be gradual migration where you are rewriting existing Aura components to LWC or you can use both Aura and LWC in the same application during the transition phase and slowly migrate to LWC and slowly remove all the Aura components from there. Even Salesforce provide tools and resources to help with the migration process. Now you might be wondering when to use Aura and when to use LWC. Aura can be used in complex applications that rely heavily on server-side logic. It is a legacy system, but it is difficult to refactor. You can use LWC whenever you are working on new projects or components where performance is crucial. Applications that require modern and maintainable code base, then LWC is the best choice. And if you are in a situation where reusability and simplicity are priorities, then there is no better option than LWC. So what are the benefits of using LWC over Aura? Definitely performance. It has faster load times with client-side rendering. Simplicity. It is easier to write and understand with less boilerplate code. Reusability. It enhances the component reusability across different applications. And finally, modern development. It aligns with modern web development practices and standards. Now that marks the end of this video. See you soon in the next video. Till then, thank you. Take care.